Jungle is a is a, in, a panoramic view of, of New York City, internal and external. It has some descriptions of a cityscape, and each movement has a relationship to some things that go on in the city. The first movement is just uh, the, the subway, and we go through the history of uh, of, of Manhattan, and different aspects of the of the history of it. People running around, a lot of things going on. Uh, things that go back to the Native American tradition. It's called Black Elk Speaks. And it's a mythical Black Elk Native American chieftain. Um, it's about cycles of time and how all of the times are rolled up into one. It deals with the existential question of man versus nature, which is where we have imposed our structures on what was there. But it's not, it's not negative about it. It's, it's just how life is. Second is the big show. It's about Broadway and the whole tradition of ragtime and Broadway shows and the great composers that come out of that tradition. And um, I use it as a way to get all of the instruments to talk to, to one another. Broadway has a tradition of string orchestras and uh, jazz instruments playing together that, that had continued that even up until this, this day. And the greatest early Broadway composers also played were, were jazz musicians or had some relationship to jazz, like uh, George Gershwin comes to mind most immediately, and that tradition was carried forward by Leonard Bernstein, who also knew about jazz and was interested in the music and developing things in the music. The third movement is about um, the, the spiritual, the religious tradition. Anytime people come together, they have some type of belief system that's manifest in their way of life and their buildings and the way they treat each other. I go between that and a sanctified feeling. Different aspects of our church music, American church music, using the tambourine and evoke the, the feeling of spiritual relationship Dvorak had to uh, America. He came, a lady named Jeanette Thurber brought uh, Dvorak to America to teach Americans how to write American music. And he said, we well, all got the Native music here with the Native American music and with the African music. And the, and the Americans rejected that because they didn't want those elements um, in the American music. And he had to go home, which was a big deal for him at that time to go from a uh, what was then Czech, Czechoslovakia to to America at his age. So he eventually there was, there was not the type of, uh, they were not receptive to his views because he had more of an inclusive viewpoint. And uh, then the fourth movement is Afro-Latin music. It's all the great cultures that come uh, to New York from, from Afro-Cubans to Puerto Ricans to uh, Brazilians, Afro-Brazilian, all of the kind of forms that have always been a part of American music that come from our, our relationship to South America, the indigenous people there, and our relationship to the Spanish diaspora in uh, Mexico and, and all of our neighbors to, to the South and, and with, the, with the Spanish influence. And it, it has all of the, uh, the use of the cowbell and the African rhythms, the solo trumpet. And uh, also that's a form of music that, that, that used string orchestras and jazz bands, even in Brazilian music. They, they still still do it today, much more than we do um, in, 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 in the United States of America. Then the fifth movement is, it's romantic, but it's, it's light romance. It's not like a kind of heavy, slow, languorous, I love you. It's like people go out on the town and they have a range of experiences. The first section is easy, and then they, they, uh, they get into their thing, which is a little more active, and then, and then, and then the, they on, on the subway, so it's always trains come in, in and out of there because the subway is a principal feature of the city. It's really the most integrated space in Manhattan. So we do that, and we go into a kind of five four where all the soprano saxophones play, and then we have a lot, a lot of chattering goes on as people talking, and the strings going up and down like skyscrapers. A lot of stuff, and the drums are in between, and then we have the, the power of the city the kind of big power mechanics of, of a city and the larger decisions that are made as a big drum solo. We used to say that New York is a very small town. It's not like that now. It's, a, it's about the existential, the, the struggle in the city uh, between the haves and the have-nots. It's like uh, the Greek myth of Sisyphus, the rolling the boat up. But the thing is, he believes every time the boat is going to stay up. He doesn't think it's going to come down. It does, but he... So it's, it's that type of... Of, of optimism and pessimism that uh, it is 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 in the in the in the jungle and I I don't I always end it a different way so I don't know how we do it.